Well, welcome back to White Coat Medicine Talks one more time. We're here to talk about x-rays today. Uh, we see a lot of patients in the clinic and they always want to know whether they need an x-ray or whether they need an MRI or another study uh, to diagnose certain things. So let's talk about that. Uh, let's talk about, first of all, x-rays. X-rays, remember, are radiation. Uh, we want to limit the amount of radiation that a person gets. So it's not a good thing to be sending patients for x-rays routinely just because uh, you injured your back, you injured uh, a, a finger, you got a bruise someplace. Um, so, so what do we do in clinic? We try to do an exam on the patient so that we can figure out, okay, do we need an extra study or can we treat this conservatively and get this better? Uh, remember, injuries take time to heal. They don't heal right away. They don't heal all of a sudden. It takes time. Your body will heal you, but you have to give it time to heal. If you bruise a bone, you can expect to have pain for six or eight weeks. Within those six or eight weeks, most people get frustrated, agitated, thinking, oh, I need a study. I need an x-ray. I need an MRI now. And usually you don't. Uh, when you injure a finger, a toe, or anything like that, we check range of motion, we check different areas that we know to check to make sure that there's not a, an acute injury that would need or require an MRI or an x-ray. And if we don't find those findings and we see that everything looks good, then we don't order x-rays usually. Uh, now if you go to an emergency room, you might get x-rays that uh, are done there routinely. Now are they always necessary? Not always necessary. Doctors can diagnose pneumonias without x-rays. We can diagnose uh, appendicitis without CT scans. We can diagnose ACL tears without MRIs. Um, a lot of times those exams are just to confirm what you already found. And that's why sometimes these exams are done so that we can confirm our findings and then pass it on so that we can get things done appropriately for the patient. So. When we're talking about x-rays, try to remember that we don't always want to send you for an x-ray for any little thing. And if we can avoid it, it's better. Your body will heal itself, usually medications, conservative treatment, usually does it very good. When you injure your low back, low back injuries are very common. It doesn't matter if you just lift something, you twist different, you cough, or you sneeze, anything can cause low back pain. Uh, arthritis over time can cause a lot of low back pain. We do have certain things we worry about. We worry about kidneys, we worry about cancers, we worry about herniations, but your doctor will be doing exams to figure out whether any of those things are possible when you go in with this injury. Uh, people will ask, uh, send me for an MRI, or if they don't get an MRI from that doctor, they'll go to a different doctor to get an MRI. And like I said, they're not always necessary. You have to do conservative treatment before you start jumping the gun. There's certain times that we know that we need to order studies. And sometimes we look at a patient and we go, yeah, we want to see the extent of this pneumonia. We want to see the extent of this, what's going on here. We need to see something. Or you want to see something else as far as a bone to make sure that there's not a small fracture because some fractures are not very visible sometimes. So we want to take a look at those things and we'll order them right away. MRIs sometimes we'll order right away, especially when you're dealing with, you know, brain uh, problems such as strokes, you know, tumors, some headaches. Usually headaches by themselves uh, are not a big cause for getting an MRI, but over time you might get those as well. So those are some of the things that we're looking for knees or different uh, shoulder injuries that we know that this is a tear, it's a rotator cuff tear, an ACL tear, but we want to see the extent of it. So we're going to order an MRI a lot faster uh, than other times. But do you need it right away? Usually not unless it's something that needs to be fixed right away, such as an Achilles tear. That would be something, uh, if your tendon tears, that you need to fix right away. You got to get those studies done quick, get to the orthopedic and get that taken care of right away. Other things, usually they want people to rehab a little bit, get stronger before they end up doing surgery. So the MRI could wait a few days before you actually do them. So don't always get frustrated as a patient uh, 
because your doctor does not order an MRI or an X-ray right away. Um, try to uh, go along with his recommendations and then take it from there. Many times you don't think you're going to get better. Uh, even sometimes after surgery, people don't think they're going to get better because the pain's still there and they're still having problems. But believe me, over time, things get better. You heal up, try to do your treatments, your exercises, your therapy, your conservative treatments, medication, eyes, heat, and everything that your doctor tells you to do. And then hopefully that will be all you need without getting those x-rays or MRIs done. For White Coat Medicine Talks, this is Dr. David Cruz. I'll talk to you soon. But I'm writing what you're telling me. Right. And now I'm going to go examine you. You don't have those little glasses that you put in the back of your head and you can look at them? No, they don't. Man. But no, it's, it's, it's amazing uh, what the changes are. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Something that. fell. <laughs> no, <something. You're> good. <laughs> All right. How are you guys? We're back again, Sacramento. I we don't. Um, we like this clothes. We don't. <laughs> White coat medicine talks, guys. Welcome. I wanted to ask you something, David, today um, on thyroid disease. So, is there anything medical that you can uh, say about this dance <laughs> so we can add it to the channel? I don't know. He must be taking a lot of chondroitin glucosamine or something because he was able to band and a little Motrin, a little Motrin maybe, a little Motrin after. Yeah. Okay. It, it was. It was fun. A lot of the family was there. And... All right. Well, let's.